Let's have a look at the frequently used fields on the customer card here among calculated fields. If we start with the calculated fields here on the general tab on the customer card, we have a few of them. The first one is balance in code local currency, which shows us how much this customer owes us for the complete sale. Here in balance due, we can see the payments that the customer are overdue per today's date. Here in total sales, we can see all of the turnover we have had with the customer in the fiscal year. This contains both of posters invoices and credit memo, but also open documents that will change the total sales, such as unposted credit memos or return orders. The cost is the sum of the cost prices from the items or resources of the items that we have sold to the customer. In profit, we can see how much we have earned on the customer, calculated based on posted documents. And the profit in percentage gives us the profit percentage. These are all calculated fields from the customer ledger entries. In the general tab, there's also a few fields that is often updated or used on a customer, such as blocked, if the customer should be blocked either for shipment, for invoicing, or for both shipment and invoicing. Privacy block can be turned on if we would like to have limited access to the data due to a privacy review. If we activate this, we can see that the block is automatically filled. In salesperson code, we can define a salesperson that are responsible for this customer. In document sending profiles, we can connect customers to document sending profiles. These define how we would like to send our documents to the customer. If nothing has been picked in this field, a default will be used for the customer. In last date modified, we can see when this customer card was last updated. Under address and contact, in contact code, we can define if we have set up contacts on the customer and which should be the primary contact. In contact name, we can either just type in a contact or it can be filled out from the contact code that we have chosen above if we are using this. In phone number, we add the customer's primarily phone number. Email is the email address that we primarily are sending documents to. Homepage, the customer's homepage. In invoicing, we can define if our bill to customer is another than the actual customer card. We do this by finding the other customer and put it here in bill to customer number. In VAT registration number, we state the customer's VAT registration number. In GLN, we enter the customer's global location number if we are using electronic document sending. In payments, we can insert a prepayment percentage if the customer needs to prepay for all of their orders. In partner type, we can define if it's a customer or it's a company. This information we can use for filtering other places in the system. Lastly, in the shipping tab, we can define if the customer has more than one ship to location. We can then set up different shipment ship to codes and we can choose from them from the list if they have been set up.